kisses, baby Gets under my skin when she speaks She's all I'll ever need, she sets me free Oh, oh, the way I wanna be, I wanna be Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica Powell. <laughs> I cannot believe I got married a month ago yesterday. So the whole name change is like really new to me, but it feels so good to say that. I will save all the wedding details and everything around our big day for another video. But today we are getting, we, I am, I am getting my eyebrows microbladed. As you can tell, I have nothing on my eyebrows now natural. I've did all my other face makeup. I left my eyebrows completely bare. I have been debating on getting my eyebrows microbladed for quite some time now. I think it became very like popular and trending like a year or two ago. So I kind of did research. I was personally nervous and skeptical of doing it because I didn't want anything permanent. I think everyone can agree like back in the 90s when like the really thin eyebrows were popular everyone got them and shaved their eyebrows, tattooed their eyebrows, whatever they did. And you can tell nowadays that's not the trend anymore. So I was really skeptical. I didn't want to do anything that was permanent. I did more research into microblading. If you're unfamiliar with microblading, it's basically like a shading technique that they use. I know like tattooing, but they do brush like motions to make the eyebrows look natural like hair. So I hope, I mean, definition isn't as good as Google. So, you know, you can kind of search and research for yourself. But I was doing research on microblading and I saw that it is permanent, but only for like a year or two after then it starts to fade and it doesn't stay. So I'm like, okay, well, I obviously will get something natural that looks like the natural shape of my eyebrow. It's really nice to know that it's not permanent. Like it's not going to stay there for a million years like a tattoo would. So yeah, we are off to do microblading today. I'm going to share the process while I'm there. I'm also going to share the healing process because I've heard that could be quite interesting. It can peel. I've heard good stories about it. I've heard terrible stories about it. So we'll see. Sorry, my storage got full. So I had to delete a couple things. Do y'all see that is dry shampoo right there. I'm not turning gray. I swear that's dry shampoo. But like I was saying, I'm going to take you through the process of this, show you how it's done, the healing process afterwards. Um, I'll show you like a week, two week update and kind of share you know, what I think about it and if it's worth it to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, come on now, do it. <laughs> okay, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. getting my eyebrows microbladed. I am absolutely obsessed. Look how perfect they look. I'm starving. I went in there at 12. It's 2.30 now. Um, I'm starving, so I'm eating a Power Crunch. But yeah, I'm like in love with these brows. I'll give you guys like the rundown and the detail after. You guys, we saw some clips of her actually doing the microblading. I will say the most common question people have asked is like, does it hurt? Once you have the numbing cream on, it doesn't hurt at all, like at all. The moment the numbing cream does wear off though, that pain, it, there's a little pain, okay? So it's like on a scale from one to 10, it's probably like a good six once that numbing cream wears off, but they can just reapply the numbing cream, ask them to do that, reapply it to the area, you know, kind of microblade some more and then you're good to go. But yeah, so pain is six once the numbing cream wears off, for sure. Mm. I feel like I know this girl. 
there's someone that just pulled up and I feel like I went to school with her. I don't want to look. Than that, like it really wasn't a long process. I didn't feel like it. It was really easy to do. And so from here, I go back in four weeks to do like a touch up and make any little changes. Like if I want them fuller, I want them darker. I kind of tell her what I'm thinking and we go from there. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think they look amazing. They look so natural where it just looks like I actually just filled in my brows and I look like a normal person today, but I didn't do anything. They look like this now. But yeah, so I'll give you guys an update like look like tomorrow once they start healing, what that looks like. I'll give you a week update, two weeks, and then when I go back in for my checkup too. So yeah, I'm excited. I love this. I like feel like eyebrows on fleek, you know? Eyebrows on bleak. That's what I feel like right now. So, so it is first day of microblading. I'm about to take off my makeup using just makeup wipes. And I am just going to take off all my makeup, go around where the eyebrow is because you're not supposed to get your eyebrows wet for the whole healing process, which is like anywhere from, I think it goes up to like two weeks. So yeah, I can't get these wet which is normal for me because I don't really get my lashes wet too much. I will clean my lashes, but typically like if I'm showering and stuff, I'm not gonna like rinse my face like that in the shower. So yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup now. All right, day two, two of the brows. It's Friday, November 22nd, 2019. So not much has changed from yesterday. Um, they're, they're a little sensitive. Actually, no. I felt like I bumped them earlier this morning and I like kind of felt a little, a little, ugh, nothing too bad, but they're just a little sensitive. Woke up this morning to like brush my teeth and stuff. And to be honest, I didn't even notice I had them done, which I guess is a good thing because they looked so natural. But then like as the morning went on, I was getting ready. I was like, oh my God, my brows are done. Like I don't have to do them while I do my makeup. So that was like amazing. I have like this travel light that I'll use, but I'll kind of get a close up. You can, you can see the hair strokes, but it is really cool. So let's see. I don't know if this is gonna focus. I don't know if this is like a bad idea. But yeah, I'm really, really loving them. I'm kind of nervous about this healing process. On my Instagram, I asked you guys if you had questions and some people are kind of scaring me about the healing process, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, that's my update for day number two. Okay, we're on day six of the microblading. It is now Tuesday and I got the microblading done last Thursday. So I think I'm pretty much in the healing process. I do see a little bit of scabbing, but I think because my brows are darker, it's not as noticeable. Um, I think if I had blonder hair or blonder brows, you'd probably notice the scabbing a little bit more, but it's really not that bad. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a close up. But yeah, if you can see a little bit of scabbing at the top, but I still really like them. The darkness hasn't really changed at all. I think they've been pretty much the same darkness since I got them. I'm still loving them. I'm kind of curious to see how the whole like falling off, like the scab fall off process happens because I'm kind of scared for that, but so far so good. Okay, since this is a video all about microblading, I wanted to answer a couple questions that I received on my Instagram, as well as questions that I was curious about before I got microblading. So here we go. So I wrote down all the questions on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and read off the questions and answer the questions to the best of my ability and all the research that I've done. Question number one, does it hurt? It only hurts when the numbing cream wears off. The numbing cream lasts, I think, for about five to 10 minutes at last. So when the numbing cream's on, you actually don't feel anything, but once it wears off, that's when you start feeling the pain, but they can apply more numbing cream, so nothing to worry about. Question number two, how long does it last? 
It lasts up to two years, but my artist suggests getting touch-ups every year to keep it fresh and looking newer. So I probably plan on doing that maybe once a year, just going in and getting like touch-up if any spots are starting to lighten, touch those up. But yeah, it'll last two years, up to two years. Question number three, how much does it cost? So I looked up some pricing options here in the Jacksonville, Florida location. I found that it ranges anywhere from $600 to $800 for the first session. And then the second session that happens about four to six weeks after, that costs about $100. Silvana actually charges $600, but if you mention that you saw this video or you saw my Instagram, she'll give you $50 off of that. So her price is $550 and then $100 on the second visit. So yeah, I think it's pretty good pricing. If you think about it, it lasts up to two years and you don't have to buy brow products. So I definitely think it's a great investment. And at number four, can you work out? So after getting microblading, you cannot sweat for up to two weeks after the microblading process. Two weeks is a very long time. So I did work out, but I made sure to not break a sweat. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I would do like light upper body stuff, light lower body walking cardio, walking on the treadmill. I just didn't want to do anything to mess up my brows. So yeah, I took it easy for about two weeks. I didn't do any high intense training or anything like that. I just, I, there's no point of risking it. I mean, you put in all this work, you wanna make sure they look the best. So two weeks, no sweating easy as that and you can't get them wet either so like in the shower you can't get them wet when you take off your makeup you cannot go swimming you just cannot get them wet for two weeks i hope that clears that up <laughs> to number five do you still need to wax so microblading does not stop the process of hair growth so yes your hair will grow back like underneath all the areas that your hair normally grows it doesn't stop the process so you will need to either continue waxing i actually get mine plucked or you know just kind of do them myself with tweezers but you will need to maintain the little hairs around the idea of microblading is just to fill in your eyebrow shapes so you don't have to take any product makeup product and fill in your eyebrows yourself they're already naturally filled and they look polished and ready to go so yes your hair still grows. It is not stopping the hair growth process. So number six, do you use brow products or can you use brow products after getting microblading? Yes, you can do everything normal like you did before. After the two week healing process, you can actually touch them up after if you see any like missing spots or like you wanna darken up an area. So you can use all your brow products like before. Me personally, I haven't had to touch them up or do anything else with them, which is amazing but I still have all my brow products if I wanted to I can kind of touch them up here and there but yeah I'm not using or wasting a ton of time doing my brows first thing in the morning so it's great question number seven is what is the healing process like I will say I don't know if I was a little bit different but I didn't put many clips of my healing process because honestly nothing was really changing every day I had one scab that was noticeable up here but other than that it almost looks like when you fall and your knee gets scabbed up the little the pieces of skin that starts falling off that's exactly what it looks like on here but they're darker pieces because they're tinted my healing process really wasn't that bad I had one day where I saw the noticeable scabbing, but you have to make sure to not peel at them. I think the first week they still look pretty fresh. And then that, that next week on week two is when you really see like the scabbing and like them starting to look a little bit different. Mine did look a little bit drier. I was tempted to put something on them. I know you can put like certain oils and stuff, but I was just like, you know what? I'll let it ride, just let it do its thing. And I did, and it wasn't that bad at all. So I have seen that blondes have a little harder time in the process just because their hair isn't as dark. So I think their scabbing's a little bit more noticeable. But yeah, with brunette hair, it was a breeze, nothing to worry about. 
At number eight, what is the purpose of touch up the appointment after getting your initial first session microblading? Purpose of the touch up is to actually shape the brows. It's like the final polish of getting your eyebrows microbladed. So if you want them a little bit thicker, you want them darker, that's the time to do it is in that touch up process. So I will go back for my touch up probably in the beginning of the year just because the holidays are here and I, I don't have time to go in. Purpose of the touch up, you can darken the color you can add to the shape. You can basically fine tune everything and polish them off that last touch up session. Question number nine, this is going to be the final question. And the question is who is a good candidate for microblading? In my personal opinion, I think everyone's a good candidate. If you find the right artist that can give you the shape and desire to look, I don't, I think it's a no brainer. You're taking time off of your makeup routine. Honestly, all I have to do in the morning now is like foundation and then walk out the door, do a little contour, blush, whatever I need to do. And I'm ready within like five, 10 minutes, which is a miracle. I really do think everyone's a good candidate for microblading. If you are a busy mom, if you work a full-time job, if you just don't have time to get ready in the morning, getting your eyebrows done is one step off of your checklist that you have to do in the morning. So I highly suggest if you thought about microblading, do some research, find a great artist. If you're in the Jacksonville, Florida, I'll leave all my artists information down below. Silvana does such a great job. I think she does amazing at like thickening your eyebrows, but making them look natural at the same time. The shape is so clean and crisp. I just love, love her work. I'll leave her information down below. But yeah, I think everyone's a great candidate for microblading. And if you're interested and have any other questions, you can comment them down below and I will get back to you. But yeah, That is gonna conclude this little Q and A. I hope those questions and answers helped you guys. I personally did a lot of research leading up to getting microblading because I was scared. I really was, I didn't want anything permanent. As I said before, I found some great informational videos on YouTube that kind of shared the whole process of it. So I wanted to do the same with mine. So I hope you guys got some great information out of this and I'll see you in the next clip. It has been about two weeks since I got microblading. I am thinking that I'm pretty much done with the healing process. They don't seem to be peeling or flaking away anymore. I did have like one really bad day of flaking but that was about it. And it wasn't too awful. I just had to kind of stop myself and not pick at them. Because if you pick at them, you kind of peel the pigment away and you don't want to do that. So yeah, I think I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy with how they look. Don't mind my lashes. I need to get those done. But yeah, I'm in love. I think when I go get my touch up in about four weeks, I'm probably gonna go a little bit thicker. I think I'll take the thickness up a little bit at the top. And yeah, but I'm really loving them. I don't have to use any brow product. I mean, I literally woke up like this. Well, not the foundation, but my brows woke up like this. So yeah, it's really exciting. I highly suggest if you haven't thought about doing microblading, look into it, find an artist that's around your area that does really great work. Um, I will leave my artist detail down below if you're in the Jacksonville, Florida area. She's amazing and she's giving everyone like a $50 off special if you tell her that I sent you there. I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the vlog here. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational and you got to kind of witness it firsthand. Seeing the microblading process was really cool. And yeah, the progress after. So don't forget, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.